Hey there guys, Penguin Recordings here, and in this video we're going to be looking at the Counter-Strike Global Offensive benchmark once more. This time we're going to be running it in Ubuntu 14.10 and Windows 8.1, both 64-bit systems. So as you can see, we have the settings the same on both systems. Now why redo the benchmark? First off, I'm running the latest operating systems of both uh, platforms. Secondly, I have read that there was an improvement to the Linux version of the game in December 2014. I haven't actually tested it until now. And then lastly, we have new NVIDIA drivers on both systems, so it is a perfect time to test it again. Now the results were pretty impressive, I must say so myself after going through it. So if you're a Linux gamer, I think you'll really like the results I'm going to show you in a bit. It's definitely an improvement over the previous benchmark video that I did showcase to you. So I'm starting the system, I'm starting the game up on both systems here. I am using GLX OSD for the frames per second counter on Ubuntu side and I'm using MSI Afterburner for the frames per second counter on the Windows 8.1 side. So the main menu part doesn't really matter too much. We did see it drop to 30 frames per second for a second there on the Ubuntu side. But generally they both average at about 118 which is pretty interesting, it's frames for frame per second there. Loading menus. They load relatively the same now. Previously it would load very fast on the Linux version. It looks like they did improve the Windows version as well in that regards because they load the same. So once we're in the game, let's take a look. Alright, now that we've got the gun out and the character out, you're going to notice that for moments here, Windows will lead in the frames and then for another moment, Ubuntu will lead in the we frames. One or the other will drop in frames and one or the other will lead in frames. It is no longer overall Windows leading in frames. As you can see here, 167 versus 157, 193, then Windows 8 jumps up to 200, then Ubuntu takes the lead, then Ubuntu drops down, then Ubuntu leads again. So it is literally both systems fighting frames for frames here. One will lead, one won't lead for a moment. Either system does not reach 300 frames per second though. The most I've seen it reach was I think 295, 298, never 299. Neither system is able to reach that. There will be the occasional dip where it does go below 100, but generally you should be fine on 120 hertz monitors. Although you are going to notice a very peculiar but annoying problem on the Windows side of the game. And it, it seems to be due to the Windows NVIDIA driver, I believe. At least as far as I can tell. It doesn't seem to happen when I'm running with the Intel, uh, Intel integrated graphics. So at this time it would seem that we have the better driver, at least compared to Windows. I'm gonna notice it in a short bit. So far, frames for frames, both systems are fighting for it. Ubuntu is leading, then Windows takes a short lead, then Ubuntu leads again. Alright, right there is what I was referring to previously, where the Windows driver seems to hang momentarily. One or two seconds, it just seems to go out of sync. It stops, and I have to wait again. In a short moment, it's going to happen again, but this time it won't be a full stop, it will be a slowdown. Now, even if I'm not doing the demo test, when, if I'm just playing the game, this happens on the Windows version, exclusively on the Windows version, regardless of the Windows operating system I'm running. Very frustrating. This doesn't happen in the Ubuntu version, at least not with NVIDIA hardware and the NVIDIA proprietary drivers. So we're seeing Windows lead there. 170, 180, 200. So at this moment, Windows is taking the lead back. Ubuntu is trying to catch up. 170 versus Windows 180. Now Windows is going down again. Windows did slow down for a moment there. I actually have to stop the Ubuntu video and bring it further back before I can catch up again with uh, Windows. Windows slows down. So those are two instances there. We are seeing Windows lead by quite a bit here. 230, 250 versus the Ubuntu side 150. This is pretty big, 130, but you'll notice something, there's no blood splatters on the Windows version. There's a crazy amount of blood splatters on the Linux version. I never actually noticed this before, so I went and jumped into a game afterwards, and it is the case. There are less blood splatters on the Windows version, I don't know why. 
So while Ubuntu was losing frames there, I don't think it's fair because the Windows version has less happening on screen in that regard. There's less textures. I'm pretty sure that every time blood splatter happens, it's a texture onto the screen. Look here, right here you can notice there's a lot of blood textures on the Ubuntu side and almost none on the Windows side. So those were some pretty interesting things. If you're going for detail and higher frames, it's definitely Ubuntu the leader is here. For certain now, after the update, whatever they did, they've really improved it. However, uh, if you're going for less details in the scenes, I guess, you would go with Windows. I guess the Windows version of the game now needs to update more than the Linux version, which is pretty impressive. That said though, it is not going to be the same for AMD and Intel users. Please let me know what your experience is down below in the comments. I have to really uh, focus on how important that is. So the conclusion I can come to is, if you want to play this game, play it on Linux. Uh, this is another breakthrough after the Metro Last Light, which is pretty awesome. The Windows version has several issues, although there are moments when the Windows game does lead in frames and it leads heavily. But when it does lead heavily, there's less detail in the scene, which isn't fair. Then again, most users don't really care what they see as long as the game plays, so if that is you, then maybe the Windows version is for you. So the conclusion is, since my last benchmark of doing this, the Windows version no longer leads. The Linux port has vastly improved and it is a great purchase if you're playing on Linux. So go ahead and buy the game and support Valve, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching.